So it's not looking good for Hollywood's next big actor, Jonathan Majors. I've done a few videos on this now. The news broke that Jonathan Majors had been charged with multiple counts of assault and harassment. Now, his defense lawyer then came out and said, look, there's evidence proving that he is entirely innocent. We haven't seen that evidence, of course, and that's not something which we're going to see just yet anyway. But there was the two sides to that story. And the plot thickens because then there was multiple other allegations that rose to the surface from just sort of outside people. And that became an interesting element uh, for a point of discussion. However, where the plot thickens even further is that despite his defense lawyer saying, hey, we've got evidence, he's entirely innocent, he's still going to be appearing in court. The district attorney has not thrown this out. So, you know, this isn't a case of, well, Jonathan Majors has been vindicated as yet, because he's not. Uh, and it would appear, and this, this story's way out there, and I'm not saying that I believe either side, right, at all. Uh, I don't want to condemn Jonathan Majors, uh, you know, I, un unjustly. This is a case of wait and see. I don't believe or disbelieve anyone in this scenario. But it's fascinating when we start to learn the situation that's transpired. And this, basically, <laughs> Jonathan Majors was apparently the one that even, you know, made the 911 call. And yet he's still going to be appearing in court. This, again, this is the plot thickening. It's all over the place. But make no mistake, ladies and gents, Disney is in a really hard spot with this situation. They've made no official word on this. They're not going to, of course. But goodness me, they're in a really tough spot here because, I mean, what do you do? Your entire slate of films is being built off the back of Jonathan Majors being your villain. Uh, and they binned off a very lucrative franchise, because loads of people like to draw the comparison, Johnny Depp, uh, over just accusations. Now, if this guy goes to court and he is found guilty, they're done. They will sever, well, they'd have to sever ties, surely. So this is, whew, it's all over the place. Disney will be panicking with this massively. And this is one in a long, long list of atrocious headlines that Disney is getting. Multiple lawsuits, one with Victoria Alonso, one with the showrunner for, well, the producer behind The Acolyte. It's a shit show over at Disney right now. So let's take a look, right? So again, they've just, Deadline's been slowly updating this report. And just, we'll, we'll read through bits and pieces just for, for, you know, posterity's sake, people to get reminded of it. Um... The initial statement which was covered yesterday was Jonathan Majors is completely innocent and is provably the victim of an altercation with a woman he knows. We are quickly gathering and presenting evidence to the district attorney with the expectation that all charges will be dropped imminently. But they haven't been. And that is from Jonathan Majors' attorney, uh, Priya Chowdhury, who apparently does have a, have a reputation for being the best attorney in New York. So, interesting. Uh, Chowdhury said that the evidence includes video footage from the vehicle where this episode took place, witness testimony from the driver and others who both saw and heard the episode, and most importantly, two written statements from the woman recanting the allegations. And that's that's the interesting part. I mean, there's, there's, she's withdrawn the accusations, but yet the DA's like, no, 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 we'll still take this to court. So there might, uh, surely evidence, I guess. So, Majors, uh, of course, the star of Marvel now, was arrested on Saturday, March 25th, without incident. That's important to say. He didn't put up a fight. He was like, yeah, take me away. That's fine. Uh, in New York City on charges that included assault, strangulation, and harassment. Uh, all the evidence proves that Mr. Majors is entirely innocent and did not assault her whatsoever. Unfortunately, this incident came about because this woman was having an emotional crisis for which she was taken to a hospital yesterday. The, the NYPD is required to make an arrest in these situations, and this is the only reason Mr. Majors was arrested. We expect these charges to be dropped soon, but they haven't been dropped. They still haven't been dropped. Now, this is the interesting part. The attorney says, emotional episode. Apparently, there's reports that she saw him texting another woman, and she flipped out, grabbed his phone, he tried to grab it back, and then an altercation took place. That's what we've heard. But this was the statement from the Deputy Commissioner of Public Information. It said a preliminary investigation determined that a 33-year-old male was involved in a domestic dispute with a 30-year-old female. 
The victim informed police she was assaulted. Officers placed the 33-year-old male into custody without incident. The victim sustained minor injuries to her head and neck and was removed to an area hospital in stable condition. So nothing to do with an emotional crisis as to why she was taken to hospital. Because she had minor injuries. Now, the plot thickening. That's your, your reminder of everything that happened. After police responded to a 9-11 call supposedly made by Jonathan Majors... On Saturday night, over an alleged domestic dispute, Majors was removed from the residence by the police. He was arraigned in front of a judge a few hours later, and prosecutors sought supervised release and a full order of protection, but the judge granted a limited order of protection, and Majors was released in the early a.m. So unless this all goes away, one way or another, the actor is actually expected to be in court on May 8th. It's, the charges have not been dropped. So a complaint by the Manhattan DA's office detailed the situation in the apartment in the city's Chelsea neighbourhood. In the apartment. It's got nothing to do with a taxi then. Or at least the situation as the police found it anyway. But then there's conflicting reports of where it was. I.e. You know, the uh, there, were, there was rumours. This is why it's all over the place. There was rumours to say that the woman waited till the next day to phone in. Now it's apparently Jonathan Majors called straight away. Oh, all over the place. Anyway, the defendant uh, struck her about the face with an open hand, causing substantial pain and a laceration behind her ear, said the paperwork of the woman involved. She observed the defendant grab her hand, causing swelling, bruising, and substantial pain to her finger. The defendant put his hand on her neck, causing bruising and substantial pain. With statutory language that says... The defendant, with intent to cause physical injury to another person, caused such injury to another person. And more. Majors was formally charged with several counts of assault in the third degree, a single count of aggravated harassment in the second degree, three counts of attempted assault in the third degree, and one count of harassment in the second degree. So, yeah. And then furthermore, ladies and gents, the lawyer said all these things on Sunday, but now representatives and lawyers for Jonathan Majors are not responding to requests for comments. So they've gone very quiet because obviously they were like, yeah, we've got evidence. And then the DA's like, ah, nah, mate, we're still going to court. We're still charging you. It's not good. This is really not good. Again, this is still a case of we'll wait and see how this pans out, but it's not looking particularly great right now. And you know what? This would be a shame, because Jonathan Majors is a good actor, I like him as an actor, it would be a shame if this is the type of person he is, and I hope it's not the case. I genuinely hope this is not the case. You know, I like him, I like him as an actor, I think he's a good actor. Underutilised in Marvel, but whatever. He's a good actor, so this would be a shame if this is the type of man he is. But let me know what you think of this. This is just an absolute epic shit show. And I'm telling you now, Marvel, Disney, they must be scrambling. Because this is... Boy, howdy, this is real bad look for them. Doesn't look good. It's a real, real bad look. So let me know what you think down below. Love to hear it. Hit subscribe, give the video a like, and please do share it. Get this out there. The other videos have done reasonably well. But we've got to get this out there a little bit more when there's updates. Because otherwise people are only seeing the original statements. And not the further updates. And the news cycles get left behind. Which is not good, you know. You need to get this out there so everyone knows everything up to date as possible. Join the channel if you like. We've got memberships. We've got Patreon. It's all linked down below. You do get benefits for that. So consider checking it out. Cheers, guys. Take care.